Now that Jurassic World Dominion is out, I have two of the sets that you could buy in Jurassic World Dominion, and I'm going to show them today, right now. Not going to be an unboxing, but I have them. Okay, so first we have Owen Grady and Beta. So um, here's Owen. He is, well, looks like Chris Pratt, because well, he is. The arms can move, they go on the little guys. Turn to back, he has a knife pocket, which perfectly between him down right there. And there's a little sword on pocket knife, which he's had in every movie since Jurassic World. And grab on, you can take the knife and just put it on it. And just pull it down and never come down. Sit him down right there. And, of course, probably everyone's favorite dinosaur from the movie. And we have little Beta. So we put it up in the middle of the lobster right there. To open the mouth, move the cars, the feet. And there's a new grass with the moon toy. Just not like skin on your feet. Okay, open this up. Then manage the scan. You want to scan it? Okay. Here's that. We'll get it right there. And with Owen, he has his shotgun. You can put it in his hands, either one. And well, he of course has that in every movie. And we have in beta in the movie, Blue gives her a box to eat. Here it comes this little plastic box, nothing really precious to. So that's that set. With Owen, his knife, shotgun, Blue, and the fox. Oh, not Blue, Beta, or, or Baby Blue. Okay, to get rid of them, there's nothing to do. From this side, we're gonna. Next, I have Claire and Dilophosaurus. This is Claire. <coughs> Long light pocket. Yeah. Nice bright orange hair. So, put her there. This way, Owen. She has a little tool. It's wrapper. First of all, it was human hair and it was the set. No, it's invisible, but it seems really good. So that's blue. Pack with well, about that off the source. And he has a hole in his mouth for his spit. So you can put him there and move him. He, her is thrilled. Move. And like all the actual Dominion toys now, they have their scan. Okay. And of course, it has the spit. So take the spit. Fine, it's a little bit to get in there. Stays in. Get right on his knife, can I come out? And yeah. Yeah. And that's right going also. She has a gun. I don't know if she has a gun in Jack of the Minion, but there it is. And actually, I do have another set of dress for Dominion. But yeah, I don't know if you like really would like to see it. Like, I mean, it's not my favorite, but I'll just show it to you guys. So it's Santa Sony, and I forget her name. It's the white person. So, 
named Sonys and Nitrosoraptor. You recognize her? She's her. Okay. Let me clear her stuff on here. Okay. So, this is not cute. She's got a razor on her wrist. And there's one here with black hair, so a white dress. Put her right there. Can't really sit down because the dress. And then, then right here, we have the Atrociraptor Ghost. One of my favorite characters. This compared to a Velociraptor head. Not the same. Not the same beta, but they're still the same. Okay, take on your answers. Got a little skin. Hands. And you guys look minion. All the guys, all the shark raptors, had their own cage. So over here we got the cage door. Cage side. on it. There's a little red peg area. There and there, there. And reason why because you can put this attachment onto it. So right in there. And it's a kiting crane. And it's used in this play. When you play with it, it can capture the dinosaurs. And that could go maybe Right there. Go right there. And there is another one. Another attachment is this. It's a cannon. Little button right there. You press it. It shoots pretty far. Is in it. So you can take it and you can put it anywhere. Like right there. And it is called Crash and Smash. Why do we call it that? Well, because if you look up at the front of the truck, you see there's a little gray button. So if you press that, the front comes off. Like we just got damage and that's the inside to the seats and it's not the only part that can break off so if I just get the print back on there's the side here and a little button there 
I'm feeling it like a control panel of some sort, probably. I'm gonna have to take this with the people stick off. And on the truck, there are some little um, like pens. They're right there and there. And the reason you have those is because you can put these things on them. Rubber chains. And they're used. Let me just set it up so you guys can see it. In some videos that in the showcase, I think the truck a little different and we forgot to add something. The truck's not broken, so that's a little care of it. It's not broken. Store. Not the bad so it's a picture though, but catch it on dark source. That's the truck. Yeah, that's all three of my Jurassic World Dominion toys I have. Wait, actually, never mind. That's not all of them. I have one more. And it's my first one of these that I've ever had. Of all the ones I've released over the Jurassic World Farm Kingdom of Jurassic World Gears in Jurassic Park is this Triceratops. And this Triceratops is a special Triceratops because usually to activate the sound, like that one or this one, you we have it here. That's what it looks like. You to activate the sound of the inner. Push up the grill, or the way you do it, you have your body. You just push down on it, and then when you release it back up, it makes a nice sound, and this is the front. And, like always, has a scan, and the back, for you to scan. Okay, and now, I'm for sure there's all the Jurassic World Dominion toys I have. I will be getting more soon. But right now, maybe you can go get Jurassic World Revolution 2. Because they're about to release the Biosyn Sanctuary in into its game. So now you can have that to play with too. And, if you want, you can go see the, the movie. It was June 10th. And I saw the movie. It's really good. It gave you a really good scare, too. Not too scared. Okay. See you guys next time.